Alright, hello everybody. Today we'll be doing Steel Mountain from Try Hack Me. And I'm actually using my voice this time. So, um, yeah. So let's start off by pinning it. And it looks like we actually got a response. So, I start off with Threaded 3000, like I do in every other video. Uh, the download will be in the description below, so you guys should totally check that out. And while that's running, uh, I want to talk about the haters on my channel, especially Mr. Justin Zen. Stop hating on me. You don't even watch my videos, okay? Like three minutes after the videos come out, you start disliking it, and that makes no sense. All right, so yeah, you're not even watching the videos, so you probably don't hear me right now. All right, so it looks like it's port 8080 open, so I'm just gonna check that out right now all right looks like we got a HTTP file server we can click on this open that up all right looks like it's possibly running on Magento so we can go check that out um, I'm pretty sure there's an exploit for this and I would know because I've done this before but um, yeah yeah, there's like a Metasploit module for it, so we can we can use that. But yeah, so now this is done too. So we're gonna run an end map on this. So dash a, um, and we can type in all these ports: four four five three three eight nine five nine eight five eighty eighty four seven zero zero one four nine one five two. Four nine one five five four nine one five four four nine one five three four nine one six three four nine one six one and four nine one six four. Is that everything? I think that's everything. Alright, so we're just gonna run and map on that. And yeah, we're just gonna let that run. And while that's running, we can just check this out right now. So just open up that MSF console. This video has been, um, I've been putting this video off for a while since I said I'll do it. And I'm like, I think my first walkthrough I ever made, I said I was gonna make one, and then my like two other ones after that. So, yeah, um, let's just search each other. Yeah, there's only one, so we're just gonna use that. Show options. Um, yeah, so I think this will actually work. So. So we're just gonna exploit this. Who cares about Nmap? Um, I'm gonna set the our host to that. And the port, you gotta make sure to change that since it's on port 8080. Um, so yeah, we're gonna set our port 8080. And I think that's about it. So let's just exploit. And we have a interpreter session, so that's great. All right, so let's just see where we are. All right, so let's go back to C users, um, users ls, and there's a user called Bill. So let's just go into Bill ls. Go to desktop, and there's your user flag, so you guys can go grab that. And it looks like Try Hack Me wants us to use their this script right now, so we can just look at this. And I think I already have this, so yeah, let's go check that out. I have it somewhere, you know that. Oh, it's called. Let's open this back up. Yeah. Power exploit. I should have that. No. Locate power exploit capitalized. Yeah, I do. So user share Windows resources. So it's in privexec, so let's go check that out. 
ls and it's called power up that piece one all right so it's right here so let's just upload that we can do that by setting up oh yeah actually we're in a meterper session so we can easily just upload so just do upload and um, wd just like that copy and paste it um it's called what do i do all right okay okay i don't know what i did there uh priv exec slash power up PS1. So let's just upload that. And yeah, let's check if it's here. It is here. So let's just go back to try hack me. And um, yeah, so it wants this to load into PowerShell. So let's just cancel this and then go to load PowerShell. And we'll let that load. loaded so um let's see powershell underscore shell all right so now let's run let's see all right power up uh, ps1 now let's do invoke all so we're just gonna let this run and right, scroll up. Alright, so it looks like Alright, so let's check this one out. Advanced System Care 9, and that lives in Program Files, IO Bit, Advanced System Care. Alright, so let's just go check that out real quick. And so cd slash, let's go cd there, where are we? So ls cd program in quotations program files x86. Ls cdio bit ls. All right, there's advanced system care right now. So it looks like what TryHack me wants us to do is generate a payload using MSF Venom. So we can just go on and do that right now. So MSF Venom dash p Windows shell reverse TCP, and our L host is uh, let's do sudo if config. And that's our IP, so let's just grab this. Look at that. And make L port 6969 encoder x86. Uh, Shikada ga nai, whatever. And it looks like it wants us to name it advanced.exe. So let's just do that. Alright, guys, sorry about that. You were actually supposed to name it ASC service.exe. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. I already have the payload. So let's upload home Cali ESC service.exe. So let's just do that. And we're gonna hop into a shell. All right, so let's just stop this service right here. And then we're gonna copy our payload onto this so let's just do sc stop advanced system advanced system care nine so that was the name of the service all right oops sorry about that um it was actually sc stop advanced system care service nine so that's what i was doing wrong so let's just do that and yep that worked finally that I've recorded this for like third time already. So let's just copy our ASC. Did I, did I already upload that? Uh, sorry, dir. Okay, so yeah. So let's just copy 
ASC service.exe onto advanced system care. Advanced system care. So it should ask us if we want to overwrite the actual thing. And yes, we can write yes. Alright, there we go. So now um, let's start up a multi-handler. So let's just control C out of this and then we're going to background the session. Let's go to use multi handler. Alright, so let's set our payload to the payload over here. So we're gonna use that. Windows shell reverse TCP. God, I can't type. And we're gonna set our L host to ton zero. We're gonna set our L port to 6969. Show options, show options, all right, all right. Okay, I'm not sure why it did that. Let's set up my actual IP, so um, sudo if config Kali. Um, yeah, because it says ton zero instead of my actual IP, so I don't know what's going on there. Set L host to this. Show options. Alright, so we're gonna run dash J. Alright, run dash J. Okay, so sessions dash I one. So let's jump back into a shell. And oh, oops, there. Okay, so we copied it over here. So let's just SC start advanced system care service nine. So let's put start that and as you see we got a session so let's just hop into that one right there session slash i2 I believe it was so, no no session session slash i2 sessions okay So we're back and yeah we do have a session right here so let's just do session slash i2 and um if we hop in let's just do sysinfo is that a thing no all right all right so we have a new shell so let's just cd dot dot cd let's just see the users ls dir sorry um cd administrator and yeah we're in here and it should be in the desktop so let's check that out dir and there's your root.txt and you can just do type root.txt so yeah and that was steel mountain um i hope you guys enjoyed this video i kind of messed up a little bit uh so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this but there is also a manual exploitation which we will do and uh, i'm not sure if i'll do that in this video or the next video but yeah i'll probably save that for another video so i really hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll do the manual exploitation in the next video if you guys will leave me some likes all right so we've gotten a lot of views on my last um walkthroughs we actually got 125 likes when I'm recording this on my most recent one and that's like my best walkthrough and it's the latest too so thank you guys so much for watching my videos I really hope you enjoy them I hope you learned something uh, I'm learning something just by trying to explain this stuff and yeah 